Hi folks, Gary Dunshee with Big Ben Saddlery. Thanks for tuning in this month for our tack tip. Just want to talk a minute about a couple of different kinds of, of uh, mohair cinches here. Uh, and just talk about that a little bit. Number one, when you buy a cinch, front cinch for your saddle, um, you probably want to make sure that it's mohair or a mohair wool blend or all wool because if it's not one of those three things then it's probably cotton which dry rots real quick or rayon which can really get hard or nylon of some sort and really don't want any of those you don't want a nylon rayon wool blend of any kind it just needs to be an all-natural uh, product either mohair or wool or a combination thereof mohair is probably the best um, and then just going to talk about two different ways that cinches are made here the old standard cowboy cinch 15 to 17 strands and uh, they're just kind of half hitched on the end here and uh, they work really really good that's uh, the cinch that a lot of the cowboys uh, prefer and uh, works real well they get by real good with it Another kind that's real popular is a woven cinch. This woven cinch is, this particular one's made up of 31 strands. And you've got um, 15 on the top and 16 on the bottom. And they're not half hitched off. You have to weave these back and forth. It forms a double layer. And that's a good thing about them. You've got a layer on top and a layer on bottom makes it nice and soft and it's comfy for the horse and the other part about it is if you want to spread the middle out then you can make it really wide in the middle and uh, kind of spreads the pressure on a horse's belly if you're going to be doing a lot of heavy roping or repetitive roping like a team rope or something like that seems to work pretty nice now i'm going to tell you the downside and the downside is pretty much to the woven cinches they're thick and they have this woven pattern and that goes up next to the horse and whenever you weave this together in order to get it tight enough to hold you have to weave it really really tight and that makes it hard well then whenever your horse uses it and sweats on it and the salt out of his sweat gets in there it kind of congregates here in the woven part of it and it gets pretty rough and it can doesn't always but it can go to knocking the horse off of the hair this cinch really isn't that bad i've seen them a lot worse than this but this is just a good example of how it starts rubbing the hair off and it's all right here on the woven part i don't know if you can hear that or not but it's hard enough you can knock on it and then um, a lot of cinches this one doesn't have much hair on it because it's been cleaned recently but this one's woven at the top and it's woven on down into the cinch a little bit farther and then it's got a big leather plate sewn over it here and all of that this and this and this all gets harder in a rock at some point in time so your nice soft supple cinch you had if you don't take care of it turns into uh, a cinch that could rub or, or be uncomfortable for your horse. Now if you'll take care of these cinches and every month or so look at them, get a steel wire brush and kind of pick through it there and uh, or curry comb, whatever you've got and get all that hair off and just wash them with a little woolite. Just get a box of woolite put it in a tub or something and wash them out and get that excess hair off you won't have a bit of trouble with them but a lot of people don't do that so if you're not the kind like me not the kind that's going to do that probably just the straight cinch that's single thickness not woven just a good old cowboy cinch is probably the the best bet if you're a little bit better about taking care of your stuff these are softer and nicer, but I would stay away from the ones that are woven all up and down here. They're just too
too many it takes away from the softness and too many opportunities for it to get hard and uh, there's a lot of other different kinds of cinches out there and and a lot of them are real good too but that's the two kinds that uh, are the most popular here in the shop and uh, if you have any questions about these cinches or other mohair cinches feel free to give us a call here at the saddle shop thanks for watching